Loud budgeting. Well, it's about sacrifice. Let's talk about travel. I know that so many people travel a lot out there. Trust me, I know. And uh, when it was during the pandemic, people were collecting unemployment from the state, federal government. They were making more money than I was working and they rented RVs and they traveled across the country. So here's my situation. I am a single mom since 1988. So I didn't go on vacation a lot. And in 2012, I went on vacation for the very first time in 12 years. I drove my car across uh, I-80 from Chicago to California with my son. That was my first vacation in 12 years. And I saw many states, Iowa, Colorado, Wyoming, Arizona, you know, Nevada. I was very appreciative. I remember that trip, took lots of pictures. So I have not been on an airplane since 1987, 1987. I don't know how people can afford to travel, but I can't. So that's that loud budgeting. I make sacrifices. So the next time I was on vacation was um, 2016. So I've not been on vacation since 2016, which is about eight years. And um, I moved from Illinois to Florida in 2017. I have not been out of Florida, out of state since 2017. I've never left this state. And if I go to the beach, I drive. I drive to the beach early in the morning and I drive back at sunset. I do not stay at a hotel. Nope. I can't afford two, $300 for one night, just one night at the beach. I cannot afford it. Unfortunately, other people can, but I can't. And so I drive, I drive to uh, Siesta Key, I drive to Lido Key, Venice Beach. I can get there within two hours and I drive back. So I do not stay at a hotel. And by the way, I do not eat at the restaurants. I bring my own food, fruit, salad, what have you. Okay, I save money, loud budgeting. I do not drink coffee. I do not buy Starbucks. I do not pay $7 for coffee, loud budgeting. Make sacrifices. All these small sacrifices will add up. So start making small sacrifices so that your money can add up. So I have no regrets, but I'm living within my means. I am not charging it. I'm not going in debt because of this. I'm living within my means. So travel, all those who travel, I don't know if you're going in debt. I don't know if you're paying for it, but... I don't travel because loud budgeting, all right? And there's nothing wrong with staying home and not going anywhere. But I will say this, I have a son who bought me an annual pass to Walt Disney World. He paid for it. I go to Disney World on the weekends and that is my fun, okay? It's healthy to get out. It's healthy to walk. It's healthy to see entertainment and to do things, okay? So I just wanna let you know, you're gonna say, oh, she goes to Disney. I live here. I live close to the park. So I do not pay for planes, trains. I do not pay for hotels. I'm not staying in a hotel. I'm 15 miles away from the Disney parks. So I drive and I bring my own food. That's how I'm able to enjoy the parks, all right? And I do not, pay for fast passes at all i wait in line like everybody else so loud budgeting that's my travel